hope you do welcome back to my channel if you are new here please make sure you like share and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new content today let's get into my ponytail it look a little rough right now but it was very cute earlier i seen this on tiktok this is a very quick style and it works because i don't really have a lot of edges so it kind of covers it well besides right there we're gonna ignore that but yeah this is a nice quick simple style if you need something to just run errands like i did today but the purpose of the video is to do a quick weave so i went to the hair store i seen this model model gardenia master mix which is just straight weave 20 inches 1b it was only 9.99 this is how the back looks i bought three packs not sure if i need all three i'm just gonna do straight middle part plus down simple but the products i will be using salon pro 30 second super hair blend glue i also have the robert's diamond bun protective shield wig cap got to be glue and that's pretty much it besides some scissors so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and braid my hair down it's going to be a simple braid down pattern leave some hair out in the middle and then i'll come back so we can get started so i'm back and i have my hair all braided so i can apply the molding gel um i do go ahead and apply that directly onto my braids i'm gonna put about two to three coats on top and then in between, you will see me spray, got to be glue spray on top of the molding. And this is just there to help prevent it getting on my hair when I do apply the tracks with the glue. So this is to prevent damage to my hair. And they do have the protective gel in like a clear and black it really doesn't matter i just had a clear already on hand along with a black bottle as well so i'll be doing a mixture but then you just see me spraying the got to be glue and then i'm gonna go back in with some more to apply again and then i just want to make sure it's dry so then i'll be going in with my blow dryer once i have applied all the glue to all the parts of my hair As far as with the got to be glue spray on top of the cap, I'm just making sure once again to add an extra shield of protection on my hair. And now I'm just going to blow dry it to make sure it is all dry before going in with the tracks. <music> So all the drying is done. So next I'm going to go in with my concealer just to outline where my hair ends. So that way I know where not to place the tracks once I start to glue them in. Um, you can use whatever you like, a marker, a liner pencil, whatever is going to be light enough for you to be able to see where to cut the cap once you do get to the top of your hair. So I'm just using my Fenty Beauty Concealer to kind of outline where my hair is before I start going in with placing the tracks. So this is the hair straight out of the pack. It's kind of like a yakky mixture texture. Um, I feel like it should go with my hair. It should blend pretty well once I do flat iron my leave out. But what I'm going to do first is just kind of measure each section of my hair before I cut it. And then once I cut, I'm going to just put one line of glue right over the track. And then once the glue is on there, I'll be placing it right in the area where I measured. So to kind of see 
without seeing <laughs> where to place the next track I kind of use one of my fingers to kind of feel where that last track was so that way I can place them very closely I like my hair to look very full I don't like when any of my weaves look thin so I place my tracks very close together so that way I'm able to glue more hair on to the cap so I'm going to go ahead and place this one in the back of my head and of course as I move up the pieces will become larger so I think I end up using majority of all three packs I'll say I had maybe one line left as far as with the last track um so far the hair has been fine haven't had any issues you know with any yakky synthetic type hair you may have to brush it a little more but other than that is actually pretty good to wear i think i'll probably get two to three weeks wear out of it um i wouldn't recommend this for long periods because it is like i said the synthetic yakky type hair so it's going to easily just get nappy where you have to brush it out so this is just me placing it or trying to see where to place the next one above it and like i said i'll just do the same thing which is cut at the glue to glue it right above the next track. stop to kind of let you see how the back was looking so far as far as with me placing the tracks it does have a little shine to the hair but I feel like it will blend still once I get my leave out blended in with it so I'm going to continue to place the tracks until I make it to the top where the concealer is <music>
right so i have finally finished <laughs> adding all the tracks in now what i'm going to do is just use the outline that i made to cut off the excess cap and i'll just be following that line make sure you're being very careful in this area because you don't want to cut your hair trying to get the cap off so just go slowly as you need to and just make sure you kind of pull the cap up so that way you know you're not cutting your hair and just kind of stay towards the part that you made so i'm just going to cut all the way around with the sides it's the same thing just pull it away from your hair or pull it up so that way you can cut it without cutting any hair so i'm going to do that on both sides you can use a clip if needed just to get the hair out the way to get off the excess cap now that all the cap has been cut off i'm going to Go ahead and just put some edge control on my edges before I start to flat iron my leave out. I'm using edge entity and then just the edge brush to kind of swoop them a little before I do my leave out. You can either do this before or after, it really doesn't matter. But I just want to go ahead and get it out the way before I do the leave out portion of my hair. edges are completed I'll just go ahead and take my braid to loose so that way I can get it straightened to match the hair now during the straightening process you will see just some smoke from the flat iron that I'm using I'm not really using a high degree I think it was 290 that I was using however I also have a fan blowing in the background so it was kind of looking like a lot of smoke when it wasn't um, and then I'm also going to use some protectant on my hair so that way I won't damage my curl pattern trying to do this look. So I'm just going to split it, kind of make it even on both sides. And then I'm just going to go section by section using my using my Chi Silk Infusion Oil along with the Chi Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. So that way it'll protect my hair while using the flat iron. And I have used the product before. It works really well. I didn't have an issue with my hair reverting back to the natural state. Hopefully, I don't have an issue after this time or this go around. I may do another video just to show you or give a review on if these products did protect my hair since I will be having this in for about two to three weeks. I have used the cheap products before. I didn't have any issues when I did go to wash my hair. My hair did revert back to the 4C pattern. However, when I do do quick weaves, I really don't like to put a lot of heat on my hair. So I try my best not to continue to flat iron it every day. So I won't risk having any heat damage from having this style. So I will give an update on that if I have an issue with reverting my hair back.
gonna brush and kind of comb it together so it can blend i feel like it looks really good but y'all can leave a comment to let me know if you think it's really blending good with my hair i think it looks really good to be 9.99 i don't think you can really tell but this is the end of my video please like share and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new ones and i'll catch you on the next one